Welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Part 9. This is Ron Moore along with Tibbs and with the first time to join us, Logan. How's it going? Hey, hey, I'm everyone. doing good. Or Outlaw Harvest or whatever you want to be called. Now, uh, Logan's, here? Across Logan's the good for me. That's usually just what I refer to myself on on my channel. Yeah. So I just got through beating the Goron Mines, and now I'm back in Kakariko Village. Seek and you shall find, your piece of trash! Dennis and Menace again. Get some rest, kid. Get good, kid. No. You didn't. You wouldn't have survived what I just went through. Yeah, right. I want to be like you one day, Link, when I grow up. No, you don't. <laughs> nice earrings. Yeah. I know. Oh, I forgot how pretty this game looks. Yeah, it's very pretty, and it's pretty ECW. No, you're not, kid. <laughs> you gotta get good. You don't have the stones. Yeah. Yeah. The only stones you're Go gonna have. Rogers. The only stones you're gonna have is kidney stones, or when Stone Cold opens up a can of whoop ass. And that's the bottom line. <laughs> yeah. As Nighthawk from Mortal Kombat 3 vows to take care of the kids. And then Bear said to Eagle. Yeah. Our White Eagle from Walker, Texas Ranger. <laughs> My mom loves that show. Oh, so do I. Of course, you're from Texas. Yeah. I had no idea how long these loading times would be. Yeah, I don't remember this game being that long to load to the next scene. Well, it's the GameCube version is a smaller disc. Yeah. But I suppose I thought this was supposed to be the future of discs back then. Because I remember the GameCube having much, much shorter loading times than the Wii for some reason, even though the Wii was a newer console. Because um, they, they basically, like, optimized the best discs or whatever. Because um, I have tons and tons of super scratched up discs that just work fine in my GameCube for some reason. Remember the load times for the original PlayStation? Oh, yeah. Or on PlayStation 2, you were hoping to see that screen. And if, like, oh, please load. Please. Yes, yes, the game's going to load. <laughs> I like that the Switch is going to go back to cartridges, though. Oh, wow. Hopefully, that while I'm getting some bombs here, hopefully the Switch will be the bomb. I wonder if he knows what happened to his, uh, storage shack. Oh, the one that blew up? Yeah. <laughs> nice, I'm gonna get the heart piece. Ah, fail. Use the air tornadoes to get the heart piece. So, another hidden cave here or whatever to get some extra stuff like rupees and fairies. Alright, time to go for a dive. Spoosh! We go down her and I think that's another heart piece. Those are some great water effects right there. 
Yeah. As he opens his mouth in the water and all, and the water, or the ma the water does not go in his mouth. <laughs> I, I was just thinking that. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'm gonna put myself up. Ah! Oh, fell. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Shoot. Try that again, sir. Like now they're all buddy buddy. Now that you help them. Yeah. Nice. Here we go. Link has no disregard for others' personal property. Right. So now we're going to go way up here, and I think, uh... What else up here? A heart piece or a bonus game or something. I like how no one else mentions that portal in the sky. You would think they would all see it. Right. Only Link at Midna can see it. Yeah, other than that, it's in John Cena mode. <laughs> mean oh. injured? It landed on the ladder. Nice. Whoa, kid, what are you doing up here? Oh, yeah, you're really <laughs> doing a good job. Check me out. Or just to let them to where you are. Right. How would you like if one of those red portals opened up right now and the shadow beast just dropped down and attack you? <laughs> Mallow would fight him off. <laughs> yeah, Mallow just stare at him with that face. He like, oh yeah, so um, go away. Yep, there he is. <laughs> Freaking uh, he's a reject of Chucky. He's put. Target practice here. I gotta cater to my target audience here on YouTube. Notice how he isn't as easily impressed as the other kids were earlier. Yeah, well, he's a douche. <laughs> what? Oh, first I thought the mailman was gonna show up. <laughs> no, I'd be. Hey! Or. Hey! Oh, cool. Nice. Yeah. Well, it'd be funny if I shot her by accident. She wouldn't be saying any day then. <laughs> I've tried. I don't think you can. Yeah. And then Mayla may would be like, good going, dude. Well, Most yeah, impressive. Uh, he was so reluctant to give me that. <laughs> yeah, so I hand it over and shut up. All right, what next to do in this town? Do some pillaging. Let me go to this douche's shop. I wonder if he put those posters up himself. Oh yeah, you know he did. Ah oh, yes, the Hawkeye, that's what I need. Don't they give that to you for free if you fail that game? What game? The one just played? Yeah. No, not that I know of. Does that make sense? I could have sworn they gave it to you. I don't know. Why would they give it to you if you fail? I don't know. Because you're sorry. Your consolation <laughs> prize? Ah, there he is. Hey! Yeah. He's busy this time of year. <laughs> Christmas time. <laughs> yeah. You keep running, you're gonna fall off, dude. Right. <laughs> so, two letters here from Barnes and somebody. Barnes and Noble? Yeah, right. Were you raised in the barn? I fail. 
I do like bomb arrows. That is pretty cool. Yeah, that's cool. They literally are the bomb. Yeah. The more I watch you, your playthrough of this game, the more I realize I really, really need to play Twilight Princess. Because I, I was playing uh, Ocarina of Time back before I sold that game, and it was like the greatest thing ever. But um, I just haven't been able to uh, start up Twilight Princess because it costs so much money. I think I'm probably going to try and go out and get a bunch of this gameplay here. Yeah, you definitely got to play it. It's so good. It's like Ocarina of Time on steroids. Right. Boom. I think the best thing about Ocarina of Time was like the controls and just the, the sense of adventure of it all. Absolutely. Yeah, I love the uh, the adventure and the story and yeah, the essence of the Triforce. Okay, there's something. That's why up. when Ron Sorry, That's just... why when Ronnie asked me if I if I wanted to be a part of this series, like do commentary with him for the first time, starting with this game, I'm like, hell yeah. Yeah. And it's perfect. Found... There it is, heart piece down there. And uh, that's that's actually the ironic thing about this uh, playthrough, Tibbs, because uh, he picked you. You who loves Twilight Princess, but he also picked me, who's never Twilight Princess or knows anything about it. <laughs> we don't discriminate. You'll love here. it. We don't discriminate here at the SC2K. The more the merrier. We're one big family here. <laughs> yeah. Dang it! Watch it, Ridley. Wrong game. <laughs> it's uh, it's like Thanksgiving with gaming, pretty much. Yeah. Like everybody, everybody's thankful for the same thing, no matter who you are. Yeah. Yeah. Dang we it. recorded on Thanksgiving too, so ironically enough. Yeah. Man, this is bugging me. Dude, this game's bugging. Yeah, this game really does have I'm a just lot of bugs. Just off in your it. joke there. Yeah, this <laughs> game really does have a lot of bugs in it. Oh, that doesn't deserve to have your mouth open, Link. Right? Oh, it's just a bug. What was that old song from the 80s or whatever it was? Then the bug. It's a... Snap, snap, and then the bug. <laughs> it's older than that, I think, Ronnie. Yeah. I know. Well, well, I saw in, like a Mad TV parody version of the 80s with Bob Barker, and they should play that song. What is this Leave thing? him alone! I'm freaking evil possessed lettuce on steroids. What is that? It's a lever. Yeah, lever alone. Yeah, I remember that joke from Nintendo Power. <laughs> or lever to beaver. That'd be Justin Bieber. Trust Justin. me, when it comes to Zelda, I know my shit. That'd be a Justin Bieber expansion move. If he's a wrestler, the lever to beaver. Ugh. <laughs> Yeah, where he just leaves the ring and no one cares. Yeah. They just ram her head into the wall. <laughs> yeah. Well, what was that? Did we get to read it? A phasmid. What the heck is a phasmid? They are real too. What is it? Like, what kind of a bug is it? Does it sting you? It, is it poisonous? I looked it up once. I forget. Fascinating. What's so I, fascinating about it? I like how that bridge has the outline of it being broken even before it happens. Yeah. Almost as if it's a clue. Hmm. Let's see if I can get that bug way up there. Oh. Ah, there it is. That looks like a stick bug. Another phasmid. Yeah, it's another phasmid. So that's what it is. Yep. Sick bug. Ooh, that was a nice explosion. 
Link loves to de destroy the environment. Yeah. And now it's getting dark. We get to enjoy the ambience of the night. Woo! No, not again. They just can't get enough. You know, I need that bridge too. What's what is it with these beasts stealing bridges in this game? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, I guess they didn't want to feel like they did that day. Yeah. I like how the the music begins to play for the night to come in and to transition in the night. And it sounds all peaceful as the beasts steal the bridge and, and come from the sky. Yeah. With their Jamaican dreadlocks. Yeah, and I can't use Midna right here because we're in the light world. So I got to gonna... kill them the old fashioned way. Come to party with us, man. Yeah. All right, DJ. All right, and let's go over her. It's now time to go to Lake Halia. I love the lake in this game. Yeah, high roll at Lake Halia and high roll. Can I beat it real quick? Highly unlikely. I fail. Speaking of fail, yes. fail trolls again. Yeah, they're on patrol. Has anybody ever you heard You know that? what makes Link such... You know what makes Link such a badass? He does all this adventuring, and he never once, until Skyward Sword, has to go to the bathroom. Right. Did you go to the restroom in Majora's Mask, or is that something else? There was there was a restroom and like a hand would pop out of it wanting paper. Oh yeah, that's right, yeah. But in Skyward Sword you can actually sit on the toilet and when you get up it makes a flushing sound. <laughs> so we're now about to enter the realm of Twilight again. Yes, we've been here before. Another drill. You grab me and drag me into the twilight. <laughs> oh, this let's play just got dark. Yeah. Oh no, it got dark in the last episode, man. Let me tell you. What have you been doing to help me? Well, yeah, she has been very helpful with her powers. Not and when you're, not when you're human. Well, she has useful information. All right, so this is the third and final uh, Twilight Realm, maybe. Oh wait, oh. Looks like we just picked up another scent. Ah, Lila. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, Molly Cyrus. You smell the girl, don't you? <laughs> yeah. You find that funny? <laughs> <laughs> she's a bitch, man. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she's got her head chopped off. <laughs> She'll be a good antagonist in the Saw movies. 
can you escape? <laughs> As we look at Disneyland in the twilight. Oh, I'm hanging. There is killed. so much dialogue in this game. Right, feels like I'm playing or watching Metal Gear Solid 2. No, this game's plot actually makes sense. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, I remember that. Especially toward the end where where uh the fake Colonel Troutman Troutman, dang it, not Rambo, uh <laughs> Colonel Ca the fake Colonel Campbell was malfunctioning, like what the heck is going on here? <laughs> And Link isn't a whiny little bitch like Raiden. Right. Even though they kind of look alike. I mean, the, th the thing about MGS2 is you'd, you'd have, like, these two-hour cutscenes that you couldn't pause, and you had to go to the bathroom, and then, you know, they gotta still be talking. So you have to sit there and hold your pee and wait as these people just talk and talk and talk. I mean, a lot of that could have been cut down. Yeah, I think yeah. one of them lasted... How long? Like half an hour? Well, they did plot twists just for the sake of having them, you know? Yeah. I mean, it was cool when it first happened, though. Like, it got you intrigued, and it's a good story. Whoa. Did you ever play Snake Eater? Because that was awesome. No, I always wanted to. Didn't uh, Snake Eater have that one part in it where if you, like, waited for six months on the final boss, like, he dies because of the PS2's clock or something? It wasn't the final boss, but yes, there is a boss like that. Hyrule yeah, Castle Town. I love little works like that. Whoa. And there was another boss, I believe, where... Every, er, literally every single person that you killed in the game, their spirits would be in the boss fight. Like, you have to walk down this long corridor of the people you've killed. Wow. Yeah, I've played very, very little of uh, Snake Eater. I know I can just, I can just get it any time for like five bucks, but, and I, I don't have the time to play that game. There's too many, too many great old NES games. Games I gotta gotta boot up. Yeah, you can't go wrong with the NES. You can't go wrong with this game either. Definitely one of the best. As as Skip Rogers would say, NES is the best. Yeah. Damn right. He would say, "Not don't try Nestle quick. Try Opal Team." Speaking of Skip Rogers, I think that was him in front of that tent. Huh. Yeah, it probably was. He pitched a tent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so, man, yeah, this is very eerie right here. When Hyrule Castle Town looks a little different from the Ocarina of Time version, and especially right now because it's in the twilight and all these spirits are around, they have no idea what's going on. Rum, rum, rum. Yeah, it's true. Actually, I'm curious. Since uh, Skip is such an amazing gamer, and uh, he's obviously <laughs> the world video game champion, what would be his tips for this game? That's what I want to know as a Twilight Princess noob. Get good. <laughs> yeah. He, he would probably, the opening of the, the review, he'd be like, the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Imagine a world of Twilight as you have to enter another world in another realm to rescue the princess. Kill each enemy and fight the shadow beasts. Then take on Ganondorf, the master himself. Pay careful attention to the sneaky tricks we'll show you. Here we are finally, Telma's Bar. Whoa, there's Lila. High real soldier. There's Telma and her and her and her boobs. Right, yeah. Oh, 
look, that's Skip Rogers right there as the head soldier. Study the map! <laughs> okay, but that's weak eye J-Man and Star Soldier in front of him. <laughs> like, Come on, guys, study the freaking map! You don't want to make Skip mad as we study the map right here and... Oh yeah, that's what Skip would say. This game has many maps and compasses. You'll be encompassed by the adventure. Oh, what's wrong? I picture her having a real butch voice. Yeah. Sell down, honey. For some reason, for some reason, I just really think that girl looks like an SJW. <laughs> <laughs> SJ Dub! SJ Dub! No. <laughs> That's a new invasion angle. SJW versus ECW. <laughs> Owned by Jonathan Coachman. <laughs> yeah. So SJW's what? Super. Uh, super. Uh, jovial wrestling? I fail. What the heck? <laughs> oh, social justice wrestling. Hello. Duh. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about that, that would be the perfect, that would be the perfect wrestling, like, tour, or whatever. Is you get, you just get all the old ECW guys, then you throw them in with the SJWs, and, yeah. like, the, the SJWs are just yelling, like, snarky comments and stuff, and the, the ECW guys just come and, like, you know, get a freaking chair or something. Yeah. <laughs> like one of them's like, we're gonna kick your butt, and all of a sudden the Sandman shows up and like blasts him with a beer can. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the new Jack. Oh man. Yeah, he'll jack them up. And all right, so now we're back in Hyrule Field. I still need to buy that that wrestling service that just gives you all of the all of the wrestling like ECW and stuff. I remember you you recommending to me that in the the podcasts that we did, but I still haven't gotten it. I'm sure I can I'm sure I can find it somewhere online because well, I really can, need to catch up on all that old wrestling. New subscribers will get the first month for free. Yeah, I've had that. I've had it since it started, almost. Oh, here's the Great Bridge of ECW. Now that's a bridge. Yeah. yeah whoa, almost dried up. I just there. have this uh, weird feeling that uh, some somebody who just taped all of the ECW stuff as a kid just watches the same tapes that they had as a kid over and over and over in their house or something. I used to do that. Yeah, me too. It's better than a lot of the stuff today. Oh, uh, wait a minute. I I came into this one live stream that was that was at being advertised on YouTube or for some reason. And this guy was just in his house like live streaming all these old VHS tapes that he had. And it didn't get taken down for copyright. <laughs> oh man, that, those two just burned a bridge with me. <laughs> get out of here! Yeah. Get to the chopper! Wait, there's no chopper. Uh oh. I regret nothing! <laughs> And that's the end of Twilight Princess. Uh, oh, wait. Whoa. Yeah, surprise ending. Yeah. Leg Halia. Or I used to call it Hilia. Because I can't pronounce anything right in the series. 
Man, you know, you're so lucky you hit that if hole. They just like right. That would be pretty great if he just uh like it ended right there with he he just jumps and then the credits start rolling like super fast and it just says the end, dude. <laughs> People be so pissed, they'd be outraged. I'd be outraged too. I'm like, I want my money back. Are you kidding me? Everybody would would just spam forums saying like, oh, I'm never gonna buy from Nintendo again. But as soon as the next Mario comes out, they buy like ten copies of it and then sell them on eBay. Yeah. Yeah. Be out a lot of YouTube rants about it. <laughs> Man, the Zoras look freaky in this game. This, that oh. poor guy there. Dub. This is Gomer Paul reject. Hmm. Put, put on a real shirt. <laughs> there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people in this game that don't cover up, and like this guy definitely needs to cover up. Well, if he's a ghost, wouldn't <laughs> he be cold? Well, he's not really a ghost. He's just a spirit because he's encompassed in the or enveloped in the tw twilight realm. He's not really dead. Um, but jeez, look at that. his gut sticking out. <laughs> Dude, what is your problem? Is that, a is that a tattoo or his hair? I don't want to know. That beast should shoot him. That's why he's out there. The beast is like, uh, put on a shirt. Uh. Wait, Brock Lesnar's here? Oh, yeah, that's right. Alright, so now we gotta fight this weird looking shadow beast. Uh oh. What's he doing? You gonna, you gonna get that hawk to attack me? Come on. He's getting high. See? Getting high. Yeah, so I guess. I guess that hawk's gonna attack me? What the heck? Whoa! Holy crap! That's not a hawk. Dude, someone blew a hole in his face. Jeez, man, what? That's uh, one of those birds put on steroids. Now that's Ridley. Believe it or not. And shoot him right in his whole face. <laughs> and that, that thing's annoying. It's freaking Castlevania boss battle right here, like from Bloodline Stage 3. Oh, yeah. Once again, these birds, they honk at you. Uh, I think it's more like level 8 Super Mario Brothers. Eh, no. <laughs> Who? What, Bowser? <laughs> oh! Got me. I, I can't... Why don't you come down and fight me I like a man? I remember that, that one... That one 80s movie that um is like... You know, oh, oh, this is this is level eight Super Mario Brothers or something. This that would always, always be referenced in, in just these random movies that that I've seen. Huh? Was probably it probably the Wizard? Huh? Yeah, or Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> I can't stand that movie. <laughs> Good thing Jeff. That movie is a disaster. No, not Jeff. I don't think it was Jeff. I think it's we got that actually liked the movie. <laughs> My fiance likes it too. <laughs> oh jeez. Why for the lols? <laughs> but that's okay, because I actually like Street Fighter the movie. Oh no. Quick, change the channel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Street Fighter is kinda like it's good in a so bad it's good kind of way like like Mortal Kombat sort of well the first Mortal Kombat movie is actually pretty good but the second one was garbage yeah I, I haven't seen the second one but um like I have a weird love slash hate 
relationship with the first movie because it has like really really cool fights and stuff, and I I really like the the costume designs and stuff. But uh, there, there's something about it that like I kind of love to hate about it. I don't know. What I love to hate is the fact that in, in part two, the movie part two, they try to make us believe that Raiden and Shao Kahn are actually brothers. Get out of here. They ain't brothers. You will die. Yeah. Right, so this is pretty I'd cool. Be, we get I'd to actually shit. use this thing. I'd be shitting my pants if I was Link right now. Right? Yeah, but this is cool. We get to actually use Ridley or uh, whatever the heck this is. Well, I'm, I'm just imagining experiencing this this in real life like that. That's got to be insane. Yeah, in our... just, this is all this force is blowing into you like you're over all this hype. Wow. Yeah, no, I think is this area under construction or something? Yeah. But this game was under construction for a long time. I'm getting pushed back and pushed back. All the big Zelda games always yeah, get delayed. This, this yeah. game needs to go. This game needs to go back in construction, if you ask me. Yeah. Well. No. <laughs> this game's pretty, very tight. Yeah. And in, into the magic keyhole. Right. And I know all the Zelda games always get delayed, and someone says that's but, a good thing because they want to take their time with it. Oh, yeah, and I agree with that part, but. It's like, get it right the first time, or, or stop pushing it back six times, because we get tired of that. Like, do a better job in actually knowing when you're going to release the game. Yeah, but, like, the the thing with with uh, Twilight Princess that I've seen, like I, like I said, I haven't played the game, but from the footage I've seen, like, the HD remaster pretty much brings nothing new to it. They just kind of make it HD is all, and um, you know, like I said, I haven't played the games, but what I what I like with HD remasters is they put more, more stuff into it. Um, but they just kind of made it HD, which doesn't really matter to me. So that's the reason, the whole reason why I didn't buy that game because they didn't add anything, add anything new to it. So I could just be paying the same price for for. Uh, Pretty much the uh, the used version. So it kind of sucks in that regard because I don't even use HD television anyway. I'm actually about to get an HD TV for the first time soon. Nice. Twilight Princess uh, uh, HD. I don't know. There's there's something like appealing. There's something appealing about the the square CRT TVs, especially when you're playing like NES games on it. Oh, I, absolutely. And this place is cold. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm a guy who collects who collects like VHS tapes and stuff. So I'm I'm like one That's of those cool. vinyl guys when it comes to TV. That's cool. Finally arrived in Zora's domain. Time to chill. Okay, everybody, chill. Yeah. I wonder uh, how much he paid for his domain, because you know I, I can't afford like a five dollar domain name or whatever. It's like that's too much money. Yeah, I just had to renew my <laughs> domain. How long have you had that website anyway? I think about three years now. Mm. We got revamped in 2014, two years ago this month, because uh, I had to leave GoDaddy because they suck. <laughs> Remember when they were all the rage? Yeah, I mean, I've been trying... Yeah, I remember when GoDaddy used to have commercials all the time. Like these really like weird and provocative commercials, but but they they don't even advertise anymore. 
Uh, I, I didn't even know they were still around. Company. They... Yeah, they, yeah, they yeah, are still I, around. I have a feeling they went like the way of... Yeah, I have a feeling they went the way of like Angel Fire or something. They should be fired. <laughs> I always mess this part up. Yeah, I messed up a few seconds ago if you've seen it. I got pwned. Yeah. Jeez, how many more times we gotta jump? Are we there yet? Jeez. Might as oh, well jump. No. Oh, oh wow. Finally. Son of a mother. We're finally in Zophar's domain. I mean Zora's domain. Oh, oh boy. Lord. Dang it. More shall beasts. I'm really beasting it here. So you're seeing Link versus Barack Lesnar. Heyman's on the side. No! No! Yeah. No! Brock! Brock! And then Brock puts him in the F5 just so he shut up. <laughs> I'll take you there. Yeah. Death metal version. I'll take you there. No, look look under the ice and see all the corpses. Yeah. All the spirits. Alright, so in order to break the ice, we gotta get that giant debris from Dang, what's the place called? Forgot. The Goron Mines. This thing right here. Yeah. Death Mountain. Yeah, Death Mountain, that's right. Not the Koran Mines, that was a freaking temple or dungeon, whatever up here. We left J-Man and Wee Guy in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that Apparently lot. she's part Master Hand. Yeah, that takes a lot of telekinetic powers. I wonder how all your molecules and stuff still are intact after you transform like that. Imagine if they came back together the wrong way. Yeah. It's too what bad I, this doesn't uh, happen, want happen do in the light world. With, uh, <sighs> what I want them to do with like uh, a sequel to Twilight Princess. When they do that molecule thing, they just turn into like the 8-bit characters or 64-bit characters or something. Yeah. <laughs> nice. We well, thought out Zora's domain. That was pretty quick. Makes me think of this time last winter. I was stuck outside in the freezing cold for like a half hour. My fiance and me, we come home and we take a steaming hot shower. Man, that I can't explain how good that felt. Yeah. I bet you were a little I steamed. I was uh, watching an interview. Yeah, I was uh, watching an interview with like Sting on uh, one of one of the uh, late night shows or whatever. And he was talking about how when he was writing a song, uh, he basically just went outside in the freezing cold because he couldn't think of any idea for a song. And, uh, you know, he wasn't dressed up or anything. So he went outside in the freezing cold and he ended up, like, writing the first verse just about how he was outside in the freezing cold or something. I thought I was thought talking about the rest or sting. Me too. I'm so cold out here. Yeah. 
There's no warmth near. Wait. Who's, who's up? Who's give me? me a blanket. Whoa. Who is that? Rutella. Rutella? No, it's dialogue. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Followed by more dialogue. So instead of Ruto, uh, we get some more dialogue. Yeah. Instead of Ruto, it's Rutella. What a bitch she. <laughs> yeah, she was. Jeez, she's trying to marry Link. She forget. Link doesn't want to marry. <laughs> Remember Rudo, how childish she was? Mm -hmm. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to sit right here, and I would have been all right if I let the whale digest your ass. <laughs> uh, he's actually dead. We're too late. <laughs> no, I don't think so. That's the... I believe she talked about the, uh, the Zora kid we saw on Telma's bar. He's barely alive. Be cool if they gave you an option to say no there. Well, I know they did in Ocarina of Time, the DQ tree. He just goes, no, Link, you must accept this. Then <laughs> he dies anyway. Yeah, Jody played that. I had him play, play that when I was a kid. He typed no and he says, no, Jody. We start laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Stop hitting me! <laughs> We're itching ever so close to your favorite part, Ronnie. Is... Yeah. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Wait a minute, waterfalls? I thought you weren't supposed to chase rainbows. I never heard anything about waterfalls. Whoa, two rainbows. <laughs> waterfalls chase you. <laughs> yeah. Ah! Lake ECW again. That looks like a shark's mouth. Well, why didn't you wake me up? Why don't you just let me <laughs> wake up my own if you want me to wake up? Yeah, Pokemon snap out of it. Fail. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure uh, Nikki would appreciate that joke. Maybe. <laughs> okay, it's getting old. These beasts. Come on, man. I guess. Well, I guess the good thing is they opened up a new portal. Hey, uh, Ronnie. You know this uh, commentary here was a Pokemon snap, <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> You fit right here, Logan. It was, it, it was uh, <laughs> uh, Pokemon. Well, well, if he goes down, I go down too. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Yay, another portal. Wouldn't it be cool if like anything else could just randomly fall through? Right. Remember Anyone that, steps in the wrong place. Remember that old cartoon or movie or something saying, The sky is falling, the sky is falling. 
Oh yeah, Chicken Little. I'm like, what does that mean? The sun's falling? Then we're all roasted. No. Like, what? Skyfall. Is it James Isn't, Bond? Isn't uh, the one where they go, the sky is falling? Isn't the one where they go, uh, the sky is falling underdog, I thought? I have no idea. I don't know. I I remember like or oh wait it's the it's a bird it's a crane it's it's a frog that's that's from underdog. Uh, I I don't know why I I I associate I haven't seen those underdog two since I was a kid. Like, weirdly, for some reason, even though they have. Oh yeah, it's it's a really fun cartoon. Um, it has like that that Hanna Barbera style. Yeah, where the, I, I I love the those cartoons. Animation is super super limited. Yeah. All right, so I got Top Cat. Here you go, go Ronnie. Bigger. Got the Vessel of Light to collect the last of the tiers of ECW. I actually, talk to the spirit of Halia here. Yes, we know. Talk faster. Come on, that's the spirit. I would if you stop talking. All right. All right. Time to collect the tears of ECW in the next part. <laughs> Sorry, kids. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> All right, so in part 10, I'll collect the last of the tears of light to bring light back to Lake Halia. And so we'll see you then. Thank you very much, Logan, for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me on. It was fun. I've uh, never done, like, commentary where you just look at the thing and then commentate. I'm I'm always that kind of guy where I'm like, well, I, I got to be playing the game if I'm going to talk about it. So it's it's kind of a challenge, but I did have fun for my first yeah. time. You can pretend like you're playing. Oh, <laughs> yeah. All right, so we'll see you guys in part 10. God I just got to pick up a controller. Yeah. All right, Take guys. care, everyone. God bless. Take care. All See right. you all later.